Good morning, you're just in time for Around the Country, proudly brought to you by New Vision TV. I'm Sarah Chisache and here are some of the stories that we have for you. In Masaka, hospitals have received mobile trucks worth Ugandan shillings 750 billion. These are to support service delivery. The main function of the mobile trucks will be to repair medical equipment. This comes at a time when the regional hospitals and the lower health services have been lacking tools and spare parts. These are to be used in the health monitoring department. The trucks were procured with the support of the Uganda Health System Strengthening Project. They have been implemented by the Ministry of Health with the funding from the World Bank. Over now for some news in Iganga Youth Meeting Town Rowdy when some youth took to exchanging blows on whether they were in support or against lifting of the presidential age limit. Over 100 youth had converged at the Iganga District Chambers on Tuesday to pass the resolution on whether they were in support or against of lifting the presidential age limit. The meeting was then aborted after the Iganga National Resistance Movement Chairman Abu Baker gave them Ugandan shillings 250, which they shared. In Amoria, the chairperson Robert Okitoi has warned those vowing for the position of local council one chairman against intimidating voters. This follows reports that some of the aspirants were intimidating voters. Okitoi says that his office has received such reports. The elections for the local council one chairman will be conducted on the 21st of November this year throughout the country. It has not been conducted in the past 10 years. These will be the first local council one chairperson elections that have been conducted in the country since it adopted the multi-party system. And over now for some news in Kabale, John Bosco Mande, a police constable attached to the counter-terrorism department, has been charged with murder. John Bosco on Saturday shot dead a senior two student at Rock High School. He injured another person as well. He is accused of shooting dead Ronald Talemwa, a resident of Mutujo cell. In Kumi, Josephine Akol, a resident in Kumi district, has for the past 25 years been living in a one-bedroomed house. It is a mato and mad house. It could leak whenever it rained. The HIV-positive woman faced stigma at the hands of her neighbors. This only worsened her condition. She did not even have a toilet. Her family was forced to use other people's toilets. A call has now gotten free housing courtesy of an NGO that focuses on providing free housing. So Vision Group has spearheaded a campaign to start its HIV coverage across all its different platforms. So stick with us on New Vision TV to find out some of those different stories. I'm Sarah Chisache and this has been Around the Country.